very, very first city ever came about because three cultures with different backgrounds all needed potable water. They had to drink and they created a city around that. As more and more people end up in cities, you end up with cities being under stress, aging, and you realise that actually unless we change the way in which we think about and govern and develop policies for our cities, things could get a lot worse quite quickly. What we need to do is to co-create our changes to cities and city systems with the people who are involved in it. What has been revealed through bringing this big team together is there is no one answer. The Livable Cities programme was set up to address the challenges to our well-being that have come about as a result of our living closely together as human beings on planet Earth. One of the issues around conventional research is that it is highly driven by the disciplines. I approach it as a civil engineer or I approach it as a musician. This one is saying, we've got a big complex problem called a city. How do you approach that? This need for a radical rethink of how our cities should work if they are to progress towards being sustainable environments that positively support humanity into the future is one that requires a broad spectrum of expertise. In order to address these challenges, we need to bring together a multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary team. So we have from Southampton a whole team of people working in the field of energy and psychology. At UCL, we've got people expert in transport, in engineering, in governance and policy. In Birmingham, we have civil engineering, geographers, architects, eco-specialists. In Lancaster, we have designers, we have architects, we have social scientists. We need that diverse team because the problems are so diverse. What we're really trying to do is transdisciplinary work, that is beyond the discipline, so that I would be able to contest an argument from a social scientist or an environmental scientist because I have sufficient understanding of their language and their cultures and their ways of working. This dynamic new approach to researching the modern day city illuminated the challenges brought about by the interconnected nature of the city's multiplicity of interacting systems. Some of those systems are engineering systems, some of them are financial systems, where does the money come from and how is it managed? Some of them are governance systems, there are social systems, which some of which are voluntary, healthcare for social care, for education, and all of those systems needed at the expertise to come together to look at the future. So the transformation of our thinking about the cities from being a load of buildings and infrastructure and stuff into something which is essentially life is a fundamental change. The team adopted four different approaches to the challenge of design and engineering for a livable city that puts human and planetary well-being at its centre. These approaches focused on city life, city values, city governance and city futures. Traditionally, cities have data in different pots. They have pollution data, everything from the number of traffic lights to the number of houses, but it's all in different silos. What city life is about is trying to find a framework in order to bring this together in a holistic picture. How can we move to a low-carbon society whilst at the same time also maintaining people's well-being? City values is about understanding the values and identity of the citizens, the community, the businesses, and how that needs to be translated into the criteria for design principles for establishing a livable city of the future. In resource scarce and uncertain times, making good decisions is really important. The water that comes out of the tap, the light that comes on when you switch it on, those things are just sort of taken for granted. We have a much greater need for understanding how everything works and putting in place governance and policy and investment that will improve the situation for the future. We need to rethink the governance of cities and provide them with an innovation space where they can think more creatively about how they solve the challenges that face them. In this study, we looked at people's aspirations for cities of the future. Transforming the engineering of a city is about transforming the understanding of people as the core of what we want the engineering to serve. And that drives our future city. We have this cycle of city life, city values, city governance and city futures. In the centre sits the innovation space. 
The innovation space brought the team back together to foster radical new ways of thinking creatively about the future of our cities based on the findings of their research. We looked at monitoring the energy consumption and also the carbon footprint of households. So we monitored about 200 households, including electricity, including gas consumption, including temperature and humidity, and also including carbon dioxide that they actually breathe in and out. Southampton could produce about 25% of their electricity from having solar panels from roofs of buildings. When the City Council found out about this, they are now investing in having a company that could actually promote this across the whole city. This is but one of the many interventions that Livable Cities has explored. From the idea of removing cars from cities, from the idea of rezoning cities, to understanding how sharing within a city could transform the way it operates so that they can become more sustainable, more resilient, smarter with a people focus. The evolving city, the city that can adapt in the future to meet the future needs of future generations. This has produced a generation of young people who think differently about the work they've done, how they can relate other people's discipline to what they're doing, how they can synthesize that knowledge and think creatively. Whether it be an artifact like a new piece of infrastructure or change in working practices or a more fundamental change to the system within cities so that it will deliver benefits into the far future.